Welcome to Katie Wonders, the podcast for seeking wonder and inspiration in everything. I'm Katie, your host, and on this week's episode, I'm going to give you my monthly favorites for February 2016. And I wonder if you know. Welcome back, guys. February is already behind us in the past, and it was a busy month. I launched my new website, www.katydalebout.com. Check it out if you haven't already. That's one of my favorites this month. I really, really like my new web home. I feel like I really, truly had a move. It was just like moving apartments. I really feel like this new, more mature, more organized internet home is a really cool place to be and a cool place to hang out and I'm really grateful for all the people that helped me make it a reality and I hope you guys go and check it out and let me know what you think. So that's one thing that was really big for me this month and now I'm going to share my favorite things this month just like I do every month, the things that I'm grateful for, the things I've really enjoyed, the things I'm really just excited to share over some different categories. So let's start with podcast. A podcast I'm really loving this month is my friend Jess Mernan's podcast, The One Part Plant. And she wasn't recording for a while because she's actually writing a cookbook, which I'm psyched about. And she started to record some episodes periodically, and I learned about a lot of cool things through her podcast. I really, really enjoy finding, just much like with this show, really interesting things, learning a lot. She does interviews and she also does something called Things That Freaked My Week where she has a friend on and they talk about the things they had to eat, people they thought were neat, and things that made them say, sheet, that's her tagline and it's so cool. I love it and it's just a really cool podcast. So check it out. I was actually on her podcast a couple months ago. You probably recognize her because she was on my podcast a couple months ago, but I just really like her. I think she's awesome. Lena Dunham even agrees and thinks she's awesome. Lena Dunham posted about her on Instagram the other day, and I saw that, and I just was like so happy and just so happy that Lena Dunham was not only Instagramming a smoothie my friend Jess made, but also knows about how great Jess is and could really connect with her and talk about endometriosis, which is something they both have, and Jess has a lot of great tips and tools about that and healing that in a really holistic, natural way. So she's a really cool person. Check out her podcast if you haven't already. And I'm back on my grind. The person that I really am loving this month is Tig Notaro. She's a comedian. I'm sure most of you probably know her, but she just inspires me so much. And I would love to have her on the podcast someday, but I just really think the world of her and I think she's fantastic. I recently watched for the first time her documentary on Netflix. It's called Tig. And Every single person should watch the documentary. I think it's really fantastic and just, it's entertaining, it's funny, it's really sad and heavy in some parts, and it's just a really good movie. So that's my movie this month as well, and I have another person this month, and this is another YouTuber who I love, and her name is Estée Lalonde, and she lives in London now, but she's actually from Canada, and she reminds me of my friend Nikki, who's also one of my monthly favorites this month. She is a YouTuber as well, and maybe that's why I like Estée so much, because she reminds me of my friend Nikki, who lives in Toronto and I don't get to see very often, But Nikki has an amazing YouTube channel, Your Health Nut, and I'll link Nikki and Este in the links below. But they are both really great on on YouTube, and I really like them both. Este has this really great vlog channel with her boyfriend, and I just love watching vlogs. She does favorites videos and a lot of beauty videos. I think that's how she started, but she's just really cool. And so is my friend Nikki, who I think is probably how I found Este. Not sure, but, or maybe I think I found Este through Arden Rose, who's coming on the podcast next week. Anyway, I'm so glad I did. I, there is never in my mind too many YouTubers to watch. So if you have a YouTuber that you love, let me know because I'd probably like to watch their vlogs. And it's so fun to find new people. I secretly, or not so secretly, high key want to start vlogging and have a YouTube channel myself someday. I do have a YouTube channel and you can follow me, but I mostly just post the podcasts on there and I haven't really been making too many videos lately just because I have so much going on with my 
book launch and I've just been focused on the podcast, but hopefully someday I get back to making more videos and more vlogs and maybe even making these favorites episodes back on YouTube like I used to. Anyway, that's who I'm really loving. Make sure you go check out my girl Nikki for her amazing recipe videos and she does a lot of other really cool videos. She's just super nice, super down to earth. She made an appearance in my book trailer, her and Davida, who is also a friend of mine who I met through Nikki when I was in Toronto. And she has an amazing blog, The Healthy Maven. And she's so cool, so nice, also has a YouTube channel. And she was just getting started with YouTube when I was there with them this summer, and we shot some videos together. But now her YouTube channel has just blown up as well. It is so cool. She makes the most amazing, beautiful recipes, and her photography is just so amazingly beautiful. So check them all out. Este, Davida, and Nikki. They're all really cool. They're all Canadian, and I'll link them all in the show notes. So speaking of food, I guess, since we were talking about them, the food that I'm loving this month, I was, you know, thinking about recording this episode and I, I've talked about, I, I really, I'm really boring when it comes to food or I have been lately where I eat the same things all the time. I've already talked to you guys about Sea Clear a bunch. I've talked to you about the teas I love. I've talked to you like how I eat the same thing for breakfast every day. I have a green apple and pumpkin seed butter, sometimes two, every single day. And I'm just really pretty boring, so my food this month is pretty boring, but avocado toast, I know it's not anything new, I know everybody has it, I'm not even having it in an interesting or cool way, just avocado, sometimes lemon, sometimes hemp seed, salt and pepper, that's it, on toast, and I love it, it's really good, and I'm sure everyone listening has heard of it at least, and probably tried it, but if you haven't or you haven't had it in a while, it's just so good. Just try it again. My roommate Katie used to make it for us when I was in college. Before it was even cool, I feel like she started the trend. And I love it so much. It's like my favorite thing to eat. So it's a really great lunch or dinner and it's quick and it's healthy and it just makes me feel really great for whatever reason. The drink that I've really been loving has just been green juice. I get Greens too from Drought. Drought is my favorite juice company ever in the world. My friends own it and it's owned by five sisters, five girl bosses, and they're so cool. I love their brand. I love their branding. I love their shops. I love their juice, obviously. There's nothing but pure juice and it's all organic and it's all in glass bottles and there's so much integrity and I absolutely love it. So there's one right by me, and I've just been drinking a lot more of their green two juice, which is broccoli, collards, cabbage, celery, all the good stuff is there. <laughs> and I've noticed that after drinking this juice consistently, I think my skin is better. I think that I have more energy, and it just makes me feel really good. They also have turmeric shots there, and I've been having a turmeric shot every day for inflammation. It's really been helping me with soreness, I have a sore knee sometimes, so I pour that in my juice. Sometimes I get a shot of ginger, and it's just really good. Check them out. They've actually come on the podcast, and I'm going to try to get them on the podcast again because I love them. So that's food this month. And music. Let's move on to music. So East Forest is a band that I play a lot in my yoga classes, or I used to, and I follow them on Spotify. And you know how when you follow someone on Spotify, it alerts you when they put something new out? So the other day, I was sleeping, and I woke up to a notification on my phone very early in the morning, and it told me that East Forest had posted a new album. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to lay in bed and listen to this. So I pressed it on and I fell immediately back to sleep because it was so relaxing and it just felt so good to listen to, really easy on the ears. The album title I'm obsessed with too, it's called Music To Be Born To. So check out that album. It's great to do yoga to or sleep to or listen to while you work. That's really what I've been doing with it. I've been, I like to have music on in my headphones when I go to a coffee shop and work and just in general when I'm at home. The book that I've really been loving this month is 
Aziz Ansari's Modern Love. I think it came out maybe about a year ago, but I just read it this month and it's really interesting. It talks about dating in this modern age with texting and online dating and meeting people and it's really funny, but he also did a lot of research and worked with really smart people to make it very informative and I really enjoyed the book. So let me know if you've read it and what you think of the book. I think Aziz is really funny in general and you know I loved his Netflix show, Master of None. So if you haven't watched that, you must. It is fantastic. I cannot wait for the season two of that show. I really enjoyed it. So that's the book I loved this month. Next thing I'm loving this month is something from my BFF, Simi, who I know you all know and love. She's been on my podcast once solo and then once again with her husband, Tim, who I also love. But she is launching another round of her program, Finally Free, but this time it's Finally Free Mastery. So you'll get... 12 calls with her and her partner Paige where they go over each module of Finally Free, which is all about finding intuitive eating and freedom around food. And I went through the program. I loved it. And I'm so happy that they're offering this live version and I'm really excited about it. So the link to that is in the show notes. I'm just so proud of Simi. So if you think that that will help you, please check it out. The link's in the show notes. And the last thing I want to talk about is an app because... In the Facebook crew, in the group for listeners that if you aren't already in, make sure you join the Facebook crew. It's really fun to hang out and listen to the podcast together and talk about the podcast together and meet each other and I get to talk to you guys, so join the Facebook group. But somebody in there, I don't remember who it was, but hi, asked me if I would share the apps that I was really liking. And the app that I've really been liking this month is the List app. I love reading other people's lists. I love making lists, although I've only made one, but I want to start making more, and it's really, really fun. Not a lot of people are on there yet, but hopefully more people get on there, and it's made by BJ Novak, who it, he was on The Office, and he's Mindy Kaling's BFF, and he's a really cool guy, so he made this app, and it's a, the coolest social media out there, so everyone should get on it so we can all follow each other and post our lists. So shout out to my friend Laura for getting me on there. She's on there and her lists are fantastic. And hopefully I'll have some more lists up there too very soon. So that's everything I have to share this month. Thank you guys so much for listening. And I really want to shout out the ambassadors for my book. If you are an ambassador for my book, helping me spread the word and get this book out there to as many people as possible, Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And if you want to be an ambassador, we technically closed it, but if you want to do it, just send me an email or post in the Facebook group letting me know you want to do it and I'll get you on there. If you're an ambassador, you get the book early and a bunch of bonuses, so that's really cool. And if you want the bonuses, all you have to do is pre-order the book. And pre-ordering the book is on my website, the new website, and I will post a link to the book. Pre-order the book. Maybe a copy for you, maybe a copy for a friend. If you order the book, you get all these really interesting, cool bonuses. So they include an interview video with myself and my buddy Jordan Bach. There's one of me and Nancy Levin and me and Aaron Stutland. All three of those people have been on the podcast before, but we talk about journaling specifically and their experience with it in these interviews. Those are really great. You also get PDFs, tools that I'm calling the deleted tracks that were left out of the book, not because they weren't good, but because I thought of them after the book had already been printed and I wanted to include. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Free stuff from Good Medicine Beauty Lab, who I love, and just check it all out on the website. But you guys are awesome. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for being my friends. I love you, and I will talk to you next week with the podcast. The track you're hearing behind me now is by a guy named Kanye West. Have you heard of him? And the song is called I Wonder.